Hello friends and welcome to my garden. Today I plan to bust another myth and that's about plants purifying the air. Many of you may not be happy after listening to this, but there's nothing to be disheartened because plants have many other health benefits. Anyway, when we talk about purifying air, there are two components in that. One is that plants give out oxygen. And the second part is that uh, plants absorb the household pollutants like the volatile compounds that are released by plastics and paints and such others. Sadly, both these are not completely true. And I will tell you today why they are not true. First of all, we'll take about the oxygen giving plants. Here I'm standing amidst some plants which are said to be oxygen giving plants. If you go to a nursery, you will hear the nursery person saying, ma'am, buy this. It's an oxygen giving plant. It's good for your indoors. And if you browse the net, then you're so confused because one website will tell you there are 25 uh, plants that give out oxygen. Another will tell you there are 10 topmost. Uh, still another will say five topmost. And then finally, they will say this is the topmost and show you the snake plant. So now let's see why this is not true. And I will show you one by one the so-called indoor plants. Some of them I have placed here. So here, this is the rubber plant. Then you have this Shifera. Then you have the Syngoniums. You have these different varieties of snake plants. I have kept only the dwarf varieties. And another important plant is this Peace Lily. Of course, I don't have the uh, flower now, right now. But the peace lily is also a very popular uh, plant. And this is the Chinese evergreen. This is the anthurium. Then you have these pothos. And even this tulsi plant is considered as an oxygen giving plant. So we'll now understand why they are oxygen giving plants and how they give out oxygen. We have all studied in school that uh, plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. So there is no false claim when they say that they give out oxygen. Plants do give out oxygen during photosynthesis. The only fact here we would like to say is that that oxygen may not be significant to alter the conditions inside the house. Now you might say, what about the NASA study? Well, the NASA has conducted study in 1989 with some plants which I have already shown you. Uh, some of those plants were there, but the studies were conducted in laboratory conditions and in sealed environment to see if plants can purify the air in closed spaces like in spacecrafts. The study was never conducted to study the effect of these plants in household buildings or in offices. To verify whether these NASA plants really purify air, in 2014, scientists conducted a study again with plants in indoor and in buildings like in the homes and in offices and their results were inconclusive. Because in the NASA study, it was the roots and the soil microorganisms that were absorbing the air pollutants. But here in the buildings, in modern buildings, it is the ventilation that takes care of the uh, air pollutants. Uh, so we should know that the oxygen is insufficient and plants do not really absorb the air pollutants, except maybe they gather a little dust. In the NASA study, where experiments were conducted in laboratories and for closed spaces, it was the root system 
and the soil microorganisms that were actually clearing up the air. And that is not true for normal household or office buildings. To further strengthen my argument as to why the oxygen given out by household plants is not really significant, I would like to bring to your notice the fact that 70% of the oxygen that we breathe in or that is in the atmosphere comes from the sea whereas only 30% is provided from the terrestrial plants or from forests. So you can imagine how little of the oxygen we really get from the household uh, plants. There is enough oxygen for everybody to breathe. So now you know where we get most of our oxygen from. And out of that 30% what we get from plants, maybe what we get from our house plants is not really sufficient. And if you want to have sufficient, then they say that at least two walls should be covered with plants. Now I am standing amidst so many uh, plants and uh, are surrounded under the tree and all. Maybe I will get a little bit of oxygen. But anyway, this shouldn't uh, deter you from growing plants or keeping them inside because plants do have a lot of health benefits, both uh, physical as well as uh, psychological health benefits. Uh, so someday I will talk about those health benefits also. So this is it. In my next episode, I plan to talk about plants that are suited or not suited or whatever it is in the bathrooms and in the uh, bedrooms. And with this, I request all of you to subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and share it with your family and friends. Have a good day.